So how painful is it to have an appliance screwed to the palate of your mouth that you crank open with a wrench every other day? Well, here's a couple things to consider. One, how painful is the appliance installation itself? And two, how painful is the treatment? Starting with the installation itself, Dr. Adams follows a screws first protocol. What this means is he first starts by planning exactly where he's going to put the screws on the palate. It's really important to be thoughtful and calculated during this planning process because people's palates are different sizes and shapes. We have different density of bone in different areas of our palates. You can use four screws, you can use six screws, sometimes people use eight screws, but the most common amount is somewhere between four and six screws depending on the size and shape of your palate. Once Dr. Adams figures out exactly where he's going to put all the screws and what size during the planning phase, we then put the mini screws, also referred to as tads, in the mouth, rescan the mouth with an intraoral scanner, and send that to the lab for them to fabricate a custom mass fee. Now these custom mass fees fit lock and key right onto the mini screw platforms, which is really important to have a nice, secure lock and key fit, so there's no waffling around as you're going through the expansion. The day of the mini screw insert, that is the time where you are going to have the pain afterwards. Now it's hard to quantify pain because everybody has different pain thresholds, people react differently to treatment. Now for me personally, I would say for the first three days, I had mostly pressure and not pain. I did stay very medicated though. I took a three day course of a mild steroid dexamethasone. I stayed on 800 milligrams of ibuprofen every eight hours and I took Tylenol every eight hours in between my ibuprofen, meaning if I took ibuprofen at noon, I took Tylenol at 4 p.m., and then I took ibuprofen again at 8 p.m., Tylenol at midnight, so on and so forth for the first three days. So I do think that played a huge role in keeping me comfortable during this initial healing phase. My next appointment after the mini screws was about three or four weeks later to get my appliance put in, and that appointment didn't hurt at all. And then as far as the treatment itself, I've turned it 12 times. Each turn is approximately 1 12th of a millimeter, so I'm about one millimeter in, and I've had no discomfort or pain at all during this process. So if this is something you're considering doing, but you're concerned about the discomfort or pain, I would say with a slow protocol, it's very minimal. We don't do Marpies in our office, the rapid palatal expansion version of this, but what I've heard from patients who have gone through that and also just seeing things on social media, it does seem like there's more discomfort from expanding rapidly. And then also when you see the pictures of the giant gap between the front teeth and you're having to bring everything back together at the end with braces, instead of just making the little movements with the teeth as you're going through the expansion, that's where I tend to hear people say that it's more uncomfortable.